It's a chilly fall day here at Disney's Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, and we're going to drop in, see what's going on. Hey everybody, it's Herb from World of Walt, and welcome to another Saturday Live broadcast from Walt Disney World. Today, we are at Disney's Hollywood Studios, and when last I checked, the wait time for the Tower of Terror was suspiciously 13 minutes, a pretty low wait time, so we are going to go and check it out. Thanks for joining me. It's fall here in Florida, which means it's in the 60s, and you will see all of the Floridians are in long, uh, long pants and jackets because to us, that's cold. So for those of you in the north, uh, this is probably feeling like summertime, but here, it, it's cold. Uh, but it's going to get up into the 70s. It's actually going to be a beautiful day. It was sort of spitting rain a little bit, but it's, it's nice here now. Danny, hello to you. Ginny, welcome to the live broadcast. Happy Saturday. Uh, you may be able to see these wires have been strung across Hollywood Boulevard. Disney is getting ready to install the Christmas decorations. Will be uh, great to see that happen. Deborah, hello to you. And Tina, good morning in Ohio. Hope you're having a good day. A lot of people are headed into the park. Uh, the wait time for Rise of the Resistance when I started the, or checked a few minutes ago is only 65 minutes, so not bad. A lot of people, I'm sure, are heading straight ahead to go check out Minnie and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Tracy, hello to you. Kathy says, where are we going? Well, we're going to go up here to uh, the intersection of Hollywood and Sunset. We're going to hang a right, and we're going to see what the wait time looks like for the Hollywood Tower Hotel. If it's still at 13 or not too bad, we may drop in, see what's going on. And then we'll take a few minutes to wander around the rest of the park. Always interesting to see what's happening back in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Emily, hello to you. Welcome to the live broadcast. Karen, good morning in Chicago. Hope you're doing well. And Arlene, good morning. Love to hear what the weather's like for you. Uh, Mid-60s here, sort of chilly by Florida standards, going to get up to the lower 70s. Uh, overnight, we're going to dip into the 50s, so coolest weather we've had here in quite some time. 54 in New York. Merrill, hello, welcome. Hey, Charlie, good morning to you. Kathy says, a favorite ride. It is one of my favorite rides, too. Actually, until Rise of the Resistance, I would say the Hollywood Tower Hotel and the Tower of Terror. One of my, maybe my favorite attraction uh, here because I think it does it all. It's got technology, it's got storytelling, it's got details, it's got thrills, lots of good stuff. New Hampshire, 60 degrees. Karen, living the dream. Good for you, Karen. Thanks for being here. Sandy, hello to you. And Terry from Canada, good morning. You can also see that the stars have popped up here on Sunset Boulevard, and I don't mean the ones who are in the movies, but rather these Christmas decorations that line the street. Looks good. Hey, Rich from cold and rainy Boston. Glad to bring you a little bit of Florida weather here today. Uh, the rain has cleared out. I think it's going to be gone for the rest of the day. And it's a, a nice but chilly day. Iris, hello to you. Karen, welcome. Nice to see you. I love the music here. Denise says, perfect weather for Disney, I agree. Gary says, I need to build a robot from Droid Depot. I have not done that. I did have an opportunity to build a lightsaber, which was kind of a thrill, uh, but I have not done a, a droid, and that looks like a lot of fun. Giles and Nancy, hello. Amy says, happy Halloween, happy Halloween to you. I think it was Janine said, too early for Christmas. You know, the day after Thanksgiving uh, begins the Christmas time season here. So uh, it does take Disney some time to set things up. The parks do seem to transform overnight. And a lot of the, the primary decorations in each park do really pop up in a night. Although I'm sure it takes Disney months of planning and uh, preparations to make that happen so quickly. But Christmas time is here. Actually, Disney released their foodie guide for all kinds of Christmas time treats that are coming in November and December. Uh, so much so it had to be split into two different uh, pages. So you, you can always head over to worldofwalt.com and check out the Disney foodie guide for uh, November and December treats. Also today, very excited, I almost forgot to mention, a uh, new t-shirt uh, and all the t-shirts are on sale. Uh, it's a design I'm really happy with and I hope you'll enjoy it as well. So stay tuned and um, I will share that that new t-shirt design with you. Patty, hello to you. 
Angela's got 63 degrees right up the street. Heather's got rain in central New York. <laughs> 60 degrees at Disney means no wait for the water rides. This is true because all the people from Florida will uh, consider that to be freezing. And all the people from Wisconsin think it's summertime. So the sign for Fantasmic is illuminated, presented by Pop Secret, uh, but not operating. Don't know when it's going to be. I'm waiting for you to come back, Fantasmic. Okay, good news is that the standby wait for the Tower of Terror still remains at 13 minutes. Not bad at all. Patricia, hello to you. Good morning in Cincinnati, and hello to Atlanta. Christina says, am I heading to Rock and Roller Coaster? Uh, no, oh, the wait time just flipped from 13 minutes to 25 minutes. What's up with that? Well, we're still gonna try it. I'm hopeful that it's not gonna be 25 minutes, because if it is, my battery's probably gonna start to complain. Well, let's give it a go. You can see, uh, just as the case is uh, throughout the parks, we've got the lightning lane signs up here for people who are uh, using Genie Plus. Okay, so the line has stretched back here further than I expected. Yeah, when it's back this far, that probably means it's a bit of a long line. It probably does mean, yeah, 25 minutes or so. Uh, I'm really debating whether or not to stay or go. Oh, we're going to stay. Why not? Let's check out the Hollywood Tower Hotel. I'm hoping 25 minutes is a bit of an overestimate. Uh, we'll see. Although the line stretching back this far, eh, not a good sign. Debbie, good morning to you in Longview, Texas. Actually, I've decided to, um, I've decided to abandon ship. Yeah, I think the wait is going to be too long. We've got other things we can go check out. And I am swimming upstream. All these people are saying, why is he walking this way? You're trying to come in. You're trying to go out. What's up with that? So sorry about that. That was a last minute switch. I just have a sense that the line is going to be a much longer wait than I had anticipated. It just changed before I showed you a 13 minute wait, which pretty much meant not much of a wait. It means 10 to 15. Uh, and now it's up to 25. And given how far back the line is stretched, I think uh, it's gonna be a wait. So we are going to continue our tour. We're gonna check out what else is happening here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Wayne says Lightning Lane isn't worth it. Uh, it sure has created plenty of controversy in the Disney fan community. So the new system, which is effectively replaced FastPass, Disney Genie, Disney Genie Plus, and Lightning Lane, uh, create a lot of strong feelings. I actually published an article this week over at worldofwalt.com with uh, an experience of someone who did try the Lightning Lane. Uh, in the end, it's really up to you. If you think it's worth it, uh, you can go for it. If you don't think it's worth it, you don't have to but I know that lots of folks have very strong feelings and I, I totally get it. I totally get it. Jackie said, glad I left, want to see some other things. Okay, good, I, thanks, thanks for that. Oh, you know, while we're here, I might as well go ahead and share with you the new t-shirt design. I'll do it later on as well. You know, I always have to plug things multiple times on this broadcast, but okay. So this is a design I have been looking to put together for quite some time and I'm really happy about how it turned out. Uh, it's actually probably better designed to reveal either at Epcot or at uh, the Magic Kingdom. And the reason why is because it has to do with the monorail. Uh, I'm very excited about this design. And it has sort of a World of Waltz uh, unique feature, which I like, which is the, the design incorporates the color of the shirt. So let's take a look. This is the newest shirt just coming out today. It's got a, a vehicle that pays homage to the Walt Disney World monorail. And it says, I have a one-track mind, which I think is a lot of fun. And you'll notice this shirt is a light blue, so the stripe on the monorail shows up as a light blue. Uh, if you were to select a different color for your shirt, which you can do, you can see that the uh, stripe of the monorail shows uh, the color of the shirt, so I think that's kind of cool. So I have a one-track mine t-shirt honoring and uh, influenced by the Walt Disney World monorail. Really happy with this design. I hope you like it as well. 
Uh, the t-shirt shop happens to be on sale right now. Uh, it's a good time to make a purchase of this design or any other one that you may like. You can always head over to worldofwaltstore.com and check it out. Thanks to everyone who's made a purchase in the past. It's a great way to encourage me and support the site, so thank you for that. Uh, love to hear your thoughts on what you think of this new design. I have one track mine, uh, paying homage to the Walt Disney World monorail. Crystal from Ohio, hello to you. And Tracy, good morning. Barbie says loves it, thank you Barbie. Denise calls it cool, thank you so much. Wayne says looks great, thank you so much. Brent, hello to you, welcome. The sun has come out. Jeff, hello to you. Heather says very clever design, loves it, thank you Heather, appreciate that. Anne Marie, hello to you. Casey says used the uh, lightning lane. Heather says loves the shirt. Vicky, how's it going? Uh, glad to hear that people like it. Dolores says, great design. Okay, thanks. So, uh, Karen says, loves the design as well. Thank you so much. All right, we are going to continue our tour. Sandy, hello to you. Michael says, is it time for the shameless plug at the Pin of the Month Club? Well, of course, we all know the answer to that question. The answer is yes, it's always time for a shameless plug for the Pin of the Month Club. So, if you'd like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every month, what do you do? Oh, I know. Check out pinofthemonthclub.com. All right. Nice day here on Sunset Boulevard. Norma, hello to you. Bruce says, loves the new shirt design. Bruce, thank you for that. Tracy, welcome. Amy says, the t-shirt of my future. <laughs> Leslie, hello to you. Denise says, did I buy the lightning lane for today? I did not. Jody said, you can tell you're in Hollywood studios. Yes, you can, especially the music. I love the music, the big band music here. I actually did think about doing a lightning lane, but I figured that uh, for, especially for Rise of the Resistance, um, by the time I tried to make a purchase, uh, it would be for much later in the day, so I wouldn't be able to utilize it for the broadcast. I did think about doing a lightning lane for Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, which is the other attraction here at Disney's Hollywood Studios where you can do a lightning lane. But I decided instead, eh, we're just going to take a stroll, see what's going on. Wayne has, I think it was 188 days. Sometimes the comments just go by too quickly. All right, the hang a right. We're gonna maybe check out a few Fab 50 statues because they're fun. Becky, hello to you. Paul says, crowd looks good for a Saturday. Actually, Paul, I agree with you. I was surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised at how close I was able to uh, park today. So it was not a very long walk in, which is always a nice thing. All right, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway up ahead beckons. Angela, hello to you. Melinda says, what time can you make a Lightning Lane reservation for a resort guests, Disney resort guests? I'm fairly certain at 7 a.m. Maybe someone can check me on that. And that is an advantage of staying at a Walt Disney World Resort, that you can make a Lightning Lane reservation earlier than day guests or pass holders. Uh, and that's important because Lightning Lanes do sell out, especially for Rise of the Resistance, and your ability to get in there before others is an advantage. So something to think about. Michelle, 74 days to go. Suzanne's got nine days to go. A lot of folks have trips coming up. That is great, always fun to see. Oh yeah, I was gonna go check out a Fab 50 statue. I think I see one over here. Patricia, hello to you. Hi Jan, good morning. Oh, uh, so we have people saying, some people saying the view is better without the sorcerer's hat. Some people say they miss the sorcerer's hat. I think it probably depends on what Hollywood Studios was like when you first visited. For those people who first visited where the Mickey Sorcerer hat was in place, 
I think oftentimes they miss it. For those who came earlier before the hat showed up, uh, I think they like the view now. Uh, I fall into that former category, so I came before the hat. Uh, so I, I sort of like the view the way it is. Okay, here's Bo Peep and Woody looking good in their Fab 50 uh, get-ups here. All right, let us continue along. Actually, I'm going to go over and see what the standby wait time looks like for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, just because it's always fun to do. Someone just asked if the trams are running in the parking lot, and they are not. So this morning I had to hoof it in from the parking lot, and actually another guest happened to be asking one of the cast members, hey, what about the trams? And the cast member said, we're still working on getting that. So yeah, no, no trams right now, no news on when that might happen. Carol, hello to you. Looks like the paramedics are coming to visit somebody. I hope everything is okay. Oh, so it looks like the line here, standby line for Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, sort of twists and turns. Uh, we'll walk up here and see if we can identify a standby wait time. Marcia says, misses the hat. Hey, Kate says, loves the tour. Thank you, Kate. Appreciate that. All right, so we can see that the standby wait for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Rail Railway, 55 minutes. Uh, the Lightning Lane is open. Always kind of fun to come in here into the courtyard and check out some of the signatures uh, from a different time, late 80s, early 90s. So here's one from Kermit the Frog, which is very fun. Uh, Bob Hope. I don't know who that is. George somebody can't really make it out uh, we've got uh, Minnie Mouse here and of course friend of center we got Mickey Mouse too and look at this one blast from the past Pee Wee Herman there's Hulk Hogan over there and Martin Short from 1991. Emery, good morning to you. Going to be here in two weeks. I hope you have a great visit. HR says, misses the behind the scenes tours. Yeah, I've, I've been on a couple of them. Oh, Topher, thank you. George Burns. Oh, why did I not get that? Marge, hello. Uh, someone asked if the time for park hopping is going to change. So right now, park hopping begins at 2 p.m. Um, and I, I think people have pretty good luck in being able to go from one park to the other, and, and folks are asking if that's gonna change. Uh, I actually heard some speculation that that's probably set up based on Disney staffing levels. Oftentimes, a first shift of park goers, park going, or, or park uh, cast members is wrapping up and another one is coming in and in place. So I'm not sure that that's gonna change for a while until maybe Disney is is able to get their staffing back to the levels that they want. I know like so many organizations, they are having a, a struggle doing that. Okay, thanks everybody for the tip on George Burns. Do not know why I did not get that one. He put his B and his urns sort of separated. So that was hard for me. Vern, smugglers run only 40 minutes. That's not bad at all, actually. Good morning in chilly Ohio. Chris said it would be nice to touch him up. Ginny, hello to you. Wayne says, looks like a lovely weather day. That it is. It is a beautiful day here, mid-60s. A little chilly by Florida standards, uh, but a, a very beautiful day. Sun is out, the rain cleared up. It's a nice one. All right, looks like Walt Disney Presents is offering a sneak peek of Marvel's Eternals. Very good. Tracy, hello to you. Thanks for being here. Morgan's got two weeks in April. That is great. Megan, hello to you. So I wanted to ask how many of you have seen some of the sweet treats that are coming out here in November and December. There are two pages posted over at worldofwalt.com with just one delicious thing after the other. Um, beautifully presented treats that Disney is going to be offering. Um, some for Thanksgiving, but mostly for Christmas. 
Uh, I can feel some uh, calories packing on already because there are quite a few of them I want to try. Uh, there's a fudge trio that looks great. Uh, there's a, a moose that looks like a moose, which is kind of fun. There's lots of good stuff. Tammy from Wisconsin, hello to you. Larry said, perfect temperature. You know, after you get out and you're walking a little bit, it really is a very nice temperature. Oh, okay, so this is kind of fun. Well, let's take a look at uh, the wait time board and see what it has to say. Well, right now it's saying you have to wear a mask. Uh, but in a moment, it'll give us some standby wait times, which is always kind of thing, always kind of fun. Okay, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, 40 minutes, Rise of the Resistance, 95. Walt Disney presents continuous presentations, of course. Uh, let's see when the board comes back. Uh, Mickey and Friends Motorcade 1215. Beauty and the Beast, glad that's back. I'm going to have to do a broadcast of that. Rock and Roller Coaster 40 minutes and Hollywood Tower of Terror 25. So actually, not so bad. If you were coming here for a day, not so bad. Jeff asked, how about savory items? It seems like the list definitely skews more towards sweets. Uh, also to some adult beverages as well. Uh, but good stuff. Someone said, can't wait to see the treats. Sorry, the name flipped by too quickly. Ted's asking about a tour of the hotels for Christmas time. I have been thinking about that. Someone else had mentioned it as well. So one idea I've got is that I might be able to head to the uh, Polynesian and check out the tree there and then go to the Grand Floridian, check out the tree and the gingerbread house and then over to the Magic Kingdom and uh, check out Main Street USA. Plus we get to see a little bit of the monorail. So that is a tentative plan for some time after uh, the Halloween time, maybe once those trees are up in mid-November. So I think that would be kind of fun. We could get two resorts and maybe a park in all at the same time. All right, Slinky Dog in all its glory. So it looks like work continues here on the new barbecue restaurant that's coming to Toy Story Land. Uh, they've cleared away some of the trees here in the entrance area. I'm a big barbecue person, so still looking forward to it. Fred is asking about the mask requirements here at Walt Disney World. So uh, the current policy, and it does change, uh, is that you do not have to wear a mask when outside. But if you are at an indoor location or on Disney transportation, you do have to wear a mask. Mary, hello to you. Whoa. All right, let's continue on. Someone said, understand they are bringing back the uh, gingerbread houses. Yes, they are. So there's going to be a gingerbread display of uh, Washington memorials or monuments at Epcot American Adventure. There's going to be the, the uh, ultimate famous full-size gingerbread house at uh, Disney's Grand Floridian. And over at, I think it was the, uh, the boardwalk, there's gonna be a carousel if I've got my, my info right. Jody's a barbecue fan, me too. Hey, Slinky Dog's coming through. That's fun. Vera, hello to you. Welcome to the live broadcast. Gina says, love Slinky Dog. Looks like the line for Slinky Dog extends out uh, almost to this point, 50 minutes, uh, which, you know, 50 minutes is quite a long time to stand in a line, but not that bad. Tracy, hello to you. Yvonne, welcome to the live broadcast. Pat saying, do the hotels. All right, very good. Louise says, Slinky Dog is a fun coaster. I agree with you. It is a really fun coaster. Ellen says, carousels at the beach club. Ah, thank you very much. That sounds right. All right, we're going to continue our stroll. Uh, it's always fun to see what the wait time is for alien swirling saucers because sometimes that's got a pretty low wait time and it's just fun i think one of my favorite parts about alien swirling saucers is the safety announcement that the uh, aliens make which is just awesome gotta love it robin hello to you 
Someone asked uh, if we have any news on when the Tables in Wonderland dining discount is going to return. No new information on that. Karen says, this is where the people are. Yep. People come in here and they head straight to Slinky Dog. They head straight to uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. They head straight to Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. All good things to do. Rob, and hello to you. Actually, I don't see a lot of people in line for Slinky Dog. Maybe we could do this before we head over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I think I have to wear a mask here. Okay, 15 minutes. That's not bad. We're doing it. We're doing it. Eric, hello to you. Gina from Connecticut, 44 days to go. I distinctly hear lots of birds in this area. I'm not sure if these are animatronic, piped-in birds or real birds. They're kind of fun. Robin, good morning to you. Welcome to Slinky Dog Dash. This did not look like a 15-minute line to me. I think we're going to be in and out pretty quick. Okay, we continue. We'll go around and around. Where we come out, nobody knows. Linda, hello to you. Someone said they have their Build Your Own Lightsaber Experience booked. Sorry, the names go by quickly, but that is great. It is a fun experience. If you are a Star Wars fan, uh, I think getting the lightsaber is a thrill unto itself and getting to pick out the components, but actually building it yourself and the ceremony they do to make it happen, very good. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Stephen, good morning. Rita's asking favorite ride at Disney's Hollywood Studios. So for me, it is definitely Rise of the Resistance. Uh, I'd love to hear what your favorite is as well. It used to be Hollywood uh, Tower Hotel, but now, yeah, definitely Rise of the Resistance. My my favorite ride uh, in all of Walt Disney World. Uh, it just it does what Disney does so well. It's got technology, it's got story, it's got theming, it's got details, uh, it's got some thrills, all really good stuff. Kathy says looks empty. Yeah, the rides not or the lines are not bad right now. Uh, Fifteen minutes, it's not bad. Amy says, looks like a beautiful day. It, it sure is. It is a nice day. A little chilly, but when you're out walking, it's good. Hey, Deb from cold and rainy New Hampshire. Jody says, are they going to have concerts coming back? Well, I do know that uh, the Candlelight Processional is returning. So in the past, it included choirs from all, all around the area. Uh, this year, it's going to be only Disney cast members. Uh, but I'm very happy to see that. And the um, Festival of the Arts is coming back with performances from Broadway stars. So uh, also a fun time after the first of the year. Vicky's got 12 days to go. I think it was Amy said with me uh, on uh, Rise of the Resistance. It's a great one. Bob, hello to you. Carol from rainy Rhode Island. Lots of rain in the Northeast, I think. Melinda says favorite is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's also a, a great attraction. Uh, Disney did a really good job. I love the trackless ride vehicles. I'm very, very happy that Mickey and Minnie finally got their own attraction. Dave is voting for Rise of the Resistance as well. Andrew, hello to you. Eugene, hello. Someone said they were just healing from a surgery. Uh, I missed your name, I'm sorry about that, but I hope that you are doing well. Uh, I hope that uh, you, you recover well and recover quickly. Angela from Long Island, New York. Okay, so we are waiting in line for uh, alien swirling saucers. I actually have a very nice view out here into Toy Story Land. 
This is really a nice spot to just stand and take in the environment here. Hey, Richard, hello to you. Charles says, Ratatouille's, Remy, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is a favorite, so just opened up on October 1st officially. There were pass holder previews and media previews as well, uh, but a great attraction. Rachel asked if it is time for a shameless plug at the Pin of the Month Club. And Rachel, it sure is. Thanks for prompting it. Today you win the award, which is my appreciation. If you'd like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. You can always go over to worldofwealthstore.com, and it will give you a link to both the Pin of the Month Club as well as a t-shirt shop. Actually, that's a reminder that I should probably give you a shameless plug for the t-shirt design. So new design just coming out today. Uh, I have a one-track mine and a tribute to Walt Disney World like monorail systems. I love the design because the color of the shirt itself uh, shows through as the color stripe on the monorail. Uh, I just think it's a really fun design. So whatever shirt color you, you pick, um, that's going to be the color of the stripe on the monorail. And of course, you can get it over at worldofwealthstore.com. Check it out. Gilbert's got rain in Buffalo, and he is a Bills fan. Good for you. Robin, hello. Tracy, welcome to the live broadcast. We are in line for Alien Swirling Saucers. Kelly's a Skyliner fan. Charles says, rode on Remy's Ratatouille Adventure in Paris. Uh, it was duplicated there. Michael says, or maybe it was Michelle, sorry, says a nice shirt. Lennis likes it as well. Francis said, did I sign about Magnet of the Month? I have not. Uh, Magnet of the Month is an option. Ornament of the Month is an option. Uh, but my focus right now is on Pin of the Month. So I'm going to continue to work on that. Uh, maybe someday I'll expand into one or, or two of those areas. Thanks to everyone who's expressed their interest. Uh, seems like people are interested in both things. So I, I am doing some research. Gina says, it has to get that shirt. Gina, thank you. Glad that you all like it. Arlene says, loves the stories, or loves the colors in Toy Story Land. Me too. Uh, very colorful. Michael said, did I eat at Chez Remy's? I did go to the uh, crepe place, actually, several times. And I've got to say, it is a new favorite quick service at, uh, at all of Walt Disney World. The, the crepe with the salmon, oh, so good. Deb says, likes the shirt. Deb, thanks for that. Joan says, thought I was going to be riding Slinky Dog. Well, I did put a picture of Slinky Dog, uh, but my picture doesn't necessarily uh, guarantee which ride I'm going to go on. Kind of depends on wait times. Uh, yeah, as, as well as just um, what's going on in the park. So this was a, a last minute decision to do alien swirling saucers. I was thinking about doing uh, Tower of Terror, but the the design, or excuse me, the, uh, the wait time just seemed too long. Pam, hello to you. Anne Marie, how's it going? Larry says, Order of the Month Club is a jingle bell. Rachel, hello, welcome to the live broadcast. Nancy from Michigan, how's it going? Jeff says, love the Peter Pan pin. Thank you for that. Glad you enjoyed it. Morgan says, loves this uh, Slinky Dog. Diane says, well, likes the idea of an ornament. Very good. I uh, appreciate everyone who shares their ideas with me. Uh, actually, I'm also interested in your ideas for future t-shirt designs. Uh, if you've got one, you can always put it here. Um, I can't always see all of the comments. They go by too quickly. But uh, you can always send an email to me, info at rollthewalt.com, or you can put your ideas in here. Someone asked, is the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular show actually coming back? Yes, it is. Uh, it will be back in time for Christmas. Mary Lou says, loves the crepes and the galettes. I did not even know what a galette was until the opening of the expansion of the France Pavilion. Uh, and now I am so happy that I do. So a galette is more like a savory crepe uh, cooked at a very high temperature, sort of crispy. Uh, it's good. Paula from Boston, how's it going? Bridget's got 40 days to go from a wet Long Island. Okay, so we got some people who are 
done waiting in line. Uh, it's interesting, I have not heard the uh, saucers swirling in a couple minutes. Sometimes they do have a, a pause, so hopefully it won't be too much of a pause. Uh, someone said I misspoke. That happens all the time. Sorry about that. I'm not even sure what I misspoke about, but yes, uh, I may have gotten things mixed up. So Debbie uh, asks about a Christmas shirt. Uh, I am I'm thinking about that actually. If you have any ideas on Christmas shirt designs, uh, send an email over to me at World of Walt or info at worldofwalt.com. Someone is asking about uh, Disney Cruise. So I have been on three Disney cruises, and on all of them I have done a live broadcast as well as other articles and posts. I do not have any Disney Cruise plans scheduled, but uh, I hope to go on one in the future. Tammy says, Home for the Holidays would be a great shirt. That's a great idea, actually. I like that one a lot. Wayne, World of Waltcraft. <laughs> if you do a Google search, uh, you might get something like that, actually. June, how's it going? Donald said a t-shirt that says World of Walt on it. Okay, thank you for that. Mary, hello to you. Linda, good morning in Ohio. Dolores asked about the weather. It's, it's actually very nice. Uh, Mid-60s, gonna go up to the lower 70s. The rain seems to be gone. A little bit of a, a small breeze, so it's a nice day to be here. Jewel Ann, I think, asked about um, who to do musical review. I have not heard any news. I sure do hope it comes back, but I don't have any information on when that might happen. All right, a lot of people are voting for the home for the holidays uh, idea. That's that's a good one, actually. All right, I'm going to wait for another minute or two, and if I don't hear any swirling or if the line doesn't move, we're probably going to have to bail if there's even a way to do so. Tom says, not moving, not a good sign. Tom, I agree with you. Ooh, someone said a Big Thunder Mountain railroad idea. That's a good idea. That would be a blast. Uh -huh. Joe, two weeks before he visits with his family. I hope you have a great time. That's going to be here before you know it. Diane says, a giraffe looking out a window at the Animal Kingdom. I think that's what that was. That's an interesting idea, too. All right, got lots of good ideas. Ed from Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. Orna says, you know, while you're waiting around, you might as well do a shameless plug for the Pin of the Month Club. And I think you're right. If you'd like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every month, you know what to do. Check out pinofthemonthclub.com. You can out, whoops. And I always go over to worldofwealthstore.com and I'll give you a link uh, to both the t-shirt shop and to the Pin of the Month Club. Karen said, I might be stuck in queue limbo forever. You know, you're right. I think I'm going to try to exit out of here. Okay, this is the part where you have to swim upstream. Excuse me. I'll see if I can make it through to a point where I can exit out. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of upstream work to be done here. Excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. This is what it's like to go the wrong way in the line. Nobody said it was legal. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Yes, how do we get out? Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Okay, swimming, swimming, just keep swimming. Upstream. Out of the line. Okay, I think we finally made more or less the end here. I don't think I'm the only person aboarding. 
Barry, how's it going? Jeff says the line got long. It sure did. And the fact that it's not moving at all, not a good thing. Yeah, Sandy said it was long as well, filled in quickly. It did. Do you think the lightning will be right away? If the lightning, you're going right in. All right, so now it says it's a standby at 30 minutes. But if it's not moving, it's not going to happen in 30 minutes. Okay, let's continue our tour. We're going to head over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, check out some wait times for Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, as well as Rise of the Resistance. <laughs> Mary Lou says it's like being in a corn base. I know, I know. Christy, hello to you. Yeah, somebody said moving, that's what always happens. A uh, little tip if you ever see me in the grocery store, don't get in line behind me because I always pick the longest one. That is just how it goes. Amy Beth said, I maneuvered very well. Thank you so much for that. I tried not to step on any little kids or droids. Kelly says, am I using Disney Genie? So today I am not. Uh, I do have a trip planned with some friends for December. And I don't know, we'll, we'll see how things go. We'll, we'll see what the weights look like. Uh, we will see what attractions the whole crowd wants to take. Uh, and I, I would be open to using Genie Plus or Lightning Lane. Uh, I think it just depends on what the day looks like and what the wait times look like. So do I like paying more? No, I don't think anybody does, especially on top of a, a park admission. But would I consider it? If I was spending 150 bucks a day to get in, which I don't as a pass holder, but a lot of people do, would I, would I spend $15 to save an hour and a half waiting in line? I might, I might. Uh, would I love doing it? No, but would I do it? I might. All right, let's see. Maybe we'll catch some stormtroopers out or Chewbacca. Oh, Vito says, welcome to Jersey week. I did not realize that's where we were. Okay. Yes, we're going to go by the milk stand up here. Tony's going to be here soon. <laughs> Someone asked about Toy Story Midway Mania. Uh, I actually am a big fan. I'm not a, an expert shot for sure. Uh, my wrist is always aching by the time I get up pulling on that silly gun. Uh, but the thing about doing a broadcast is that it's a 3D attraction and you need to have glasses to see what's going on. If you've ever taken your glasses off, everything just looks kind of blurry. So I don't think it would make for a very good video, uh, but it is a very fun ride. Christina from New Jersey, hello to you. Oh, it looks like Kylo Ren is out. Amber's a fan. Teresa from Michigan, hello to you. Kylo Ren doing what he does well, which is being kind of menacing. Crystal said, do I like the milk? Uh, I do. You know, it's not something that's a must do for me, but I think it is fun to try. Uh, I'm a blue milk fan. Green's good as well, but I'm more of a blue person. Joshua, hello to you in Colorado. I think it was Michael said, am I going to do an ornament of the month club? So not immediately. Uh, so ornament of the month club and magnet of the month club are both ideas. Uh, those are both longer term ideas. So at the moment, pin of the month club is where it's at. Vera, hello to you. Karen from New Jersey. Linda just said, do they have single rider lines? Um, and some attractions they do, yes. And they have reopened. Vito said, both are good, especially with the alcohol option. Uh, this is true of so many things in life. But yeah, especially the milk options. HR says, mix the two milks together. That's interesting. Gary says, the blue with rum is a good one. Uh, Karen asks if Kylo Ren speaks. So I have not heard him say anything. Oh, there's a little girl who's not happy about this. Uh, the stormtroopers I've heard speak many times, and I thought Kylo Ren did as well, but he's just sort of being silent right now. I'm afraid not. Oh, there we go. Very well. <laughs> okay, we will continue on. 
Checking out what is happening here in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Donald said, do they offer lactose-free green milk and blue milk? And the answer is yes. Both are actually dairy-free, uh, which I think means uh, lactose-free. Uh, always check with the Disney cast member to be certain if you have a dietary restriction. But yes, um, they're both dairy-free, even though they're called milk, which is interesting. And as I understand from hearing the people who developed that uh, offering, uh, they did that very specifically because they wanted it to be available to many people. Okay, we continue on. Pretty soon, up around the corner, we are going to see the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy, the Millennium Falcon. Sergio, hello to you. Karen says, finally here on a live broadcast. Karen, thank you for being here. Appreciate everyone who joins me live. It's always a lot of fun. Thank you for your comments. Uh, also for the hearts, the thumbs up, especially the shares. It's a great way to get the word out. And Marie is here. Hello to you. Gina loves the Star Wars area. So realistic. I agree. And there it is in all its glory. Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. It looks great. Kathy asked if the milk is made with soy. Actually, I don't know. It's a good question. I do not know what the ingredients are. Uh, if you have a preference or a problem with a certain ingredient, you can always ask the cast member there and they can fill you in. Okay, standby wait time for Millennium Falcon, Falcon Smuggler's Run, 35 minutes, not bad. Uh, you can see the lightning lane time, uh, as well as the single rider line. So someone asked before about single rider, and yes, they are open again. Michelle said she thinks it's almond milk. All right, let's continue on our little tour here of Disney's Hollywood Studios. <laughs> Someone said the milk is made with boo, blue, yum, and love, which are both excellent ingredients, uh, especially when you are putting them together in milk. Denise, hello to you. All right, nice look out here where you can check out the Millennium Falcon. Great photo spot. Lorna said almond milk. Okay, thank you for that. All right, so time for another plug for the new t-shirt design that just came out today. Uh, so this is the new shirt for this week on sale uh, and just came out today. I have a one track mind, kind of a, uh, an honor of the, uh, the Walt Disney World monorail. And the thing I like about it is the shirt color you pick uh, creates the stripe on the monorail. So that was sort of a light blue. If you were to select a dark blue color, then the stripe on the monorail becomes dark blue. And you can pick from probably 20, 30 different colors. Uh, you can always head over to worldofwaltstore.com to go to link to the t-shirt shop, as well as to the pin of the month club. So those are the new designs. Uh, that design with the monorail out today for the first time. Uh, and also all the shirts in the shop are on sale. So I hope you uh, enjoy the new design. And thank you to everyone who's made a purchase in the past. Uh, I hope you enjoy this one as well. Tammy says, loves the Star Wars rides. I do as well. Claudia, hello to you. Sue, how's it going? Dana says, how do the shirts fit? Uh, so the um, y you can select from the sizes. My experience has been, they're, they're kind of a, a normal size. I, I wouldn't call them uh, large or I guess tight or loose, but sort of normal. Uh, also the folks at Tee Public who fulfill the shirts uh, I think do have excellent customer service. So for people who have shipping issues or size issues, you can always get in touch with them. And my experience has been they have always made things right. Uh, if you ever order a shirt from the World of Walt t-shirt shop and you have an issue, uh, I recommend checking with the, the folks at Tee Public. Uh, if that doesn't work, let me know and I can, I can step in as well. Sue's got three days to go. Glenn, hello to you. Amber is a big fan of Star Wars. Me too. All right, Ronto's Roasters here. Here's this droid working hard. Christina, hello to you. All right, let's continue on. Oh, a 
this is an exit only. And I am swimming upstream going the wrong way. Hey June, how's it going? Gina says, loves the World of Walt shirts. Thank you for that. Judy said she ordered a women's medium and it was a little tight. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, the shirts I've gotten have been pretty much what I would expect as, as far as size. <laughs> Someone just ordered a bring your own Beverly shirt. That is great. Eugene was here last week. I hope you had a great visit. Nancy, hello to you. All right, we continue on. Tony says, has the Sam Eagle shirt. I love it. Uh, yeah, that's fun. That's fun. A tribute to all nations, but mostly America. Donald said, I'm a, I'm a rebel. Oh my, if only you knew how much a rebel not I am. So I did not go in the exit, but we'll just uh, follow the rules. Hey, Glenn. Karen says, Disney in 2022. Hopefully, I do hope that works out for you. I know a lot of people have not been able to take the trips that they wanted to or they have been delayed. So here's to hoping that things like that change. Richard, 35 days to go. Donna says, thanks for the tour. Donna, you are very welcome. My pleasure. Jill says, thanks for the vote, the post. Karen said she heard there's a shortage of Coke products. What? Uh, I can't believe it. I hope that is not true. Jeff says, loves the Beverly shirt. That is a fun design. And thank you, Topher, who was watching before, may still be watching right now, who came up with that idea. It was a great idea. Tracy says, thanks for the tour. Tracy, you are very welcome. Nellie, how's it going? And Paul, hello to you. All right, we continue our tour of Disney's Hollywood Studios and our stroll through Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I thought it would be interesting to come up here and see what things look like for Rise of the Resistance. When I checked the wait time before starting the broadcast, maybe 9.30, 9.45, it was about 65 minutes, which really isn't bad, especially for an attraction like this. Uh, this is a relatively slow time of the year right now. It's never slow, but relatively slow. Looks like standby 80 minutes. Yeah, not bad. Amber asked if they've said anything about meal plans. So Disney did say that they are coming back, but they did not say when uh, or in, in what way, what pricing, how the process is going to work. <laughs> Robert said, did somebody say something about pins? Well, I hope they did because it's a great way to prompt the shameless plug for the Pin of the Month Club. If you'd like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Topher was wearing his BYOB shirt. It is a fun shirt. I really like it. Someone, Kathy, I think, said her trips for the past couple of years have been canceled. I know you are in uh, the company of many other folks who have been in similar situations. So here's to hoping that those days are soon behind us. Karen asks, favorite attraction? Definitely, without a doubt, Rise of the Resistance. Uh, usually I have a hard time picking a favorite of whatever. Debbie says, what's the Beverly shirt? So Debbie, what you can do is head over to worldofwaltstore.com. Let's see if I can put the link in. Uh, and there will be a link to the t-shirt shop. And the t-shirt shop has a fun design that says BYOB, bring your own Beverly. Uh, actually an idea from our very own Topher. Karen, thanks for putting the link in there, pinofthemonthclub.com. So much fun to plug so much stuff. Nancy says, loves the walkthroughs every week. Nancy, thank you for that. Someone else put a link in there, worldofwaltstore.com. Thank you for that. Phyllis says, loves the newest pin. Phyllis, thank you for that. I always have fun putting those packages together, sending them out. So thanks to everyone. Amy says, loves the 1971 shirt. That was one of the early designs. 1971, it was a very good year. A great shirt, especially this year for the 50th anniversary of the Walt Disney World Resort. Uh, I think it was Richard, I missed the name, is going to be back after a 20-year absence. 
Wow, I am glad that you were getting an opportunity to come back. A few things have changed in the past 20 years. Okay, pretty much everything has changed. Not everything, but lots of things have changed. All right, we got banners here for the Muppets Haunted Mansion, which I still need to fire up my Disney Plus subscription and check that out. Uh, and the, the new um, intro video for Muppet Vision now includes a plug for Muppets Haunted Mansion. Only 10 minutes, not bad. All right, everybody, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for joining me through a little tour of Disney's Hollywood Studios here at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. A very nice day. A uh, little overcast because it was rainy this morning, uh, but a, a nice day temperature-wise, mid-60s, going to be up into the 70s. A really nice day. Karen said, sharing is caring. It is. Thank you so much. Uh, someone asked about the... Space 220 restaurant over at Epcot in the Mission Space Pavilion. Do you have to ride the elevator? Uh, actually, I'm not sure. You could always ask a cast member. I have a very strong feeling that the answer is probably no, that you don't. Um, the elevator is very gentle. Um, most of what is going on is in your mind and the video uh, that you're seeing both looking down and looking up. But if you're prone to motion sickness, I am fairly certain that Disney will... Uh, the Disney cast members there will, will help you out. Debbie says, Muppets Haunted Mansion is awesome. Oh, can't wait to see it. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we, will, <laughs> we will head out of here with Miss Piggy. So thanks again. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, God bless.